It was very ironic because we were the farm we were actually shooting on. Couldn't really explain to the farmer clearly what we were actually making the film about because, you know, it, it was very politically sensitive at the time. Wij zijn hier twee kaffers wees baas op Trantfontein. Once the film got made and it came out and it was a Saturday night screening and there was a lot of publicity and the theatre was packed and we were called aside by the director of the festival and she said, look, there's a bit of a problem. Your film's been banned and it's been banned under the state of emergency. The security police had actually already arrived at the cinema to take the print because the film was deemed to be a threat to the safety and security of the state. I was one of the unfortunate white young men in South Africa who had, at the age of 17, to take up arms and go and fight a very unjust war. During that time, film was a bit difficult. I was in school. As Vladimir Ilyich Lenin said, Film is the most powerful weapon. Wait, 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 wait. I thought it was John Lennon. Give peace a chance, you know? Imagine all that. Let's start again. Oh my word! I am Rob Liana C. Pemo. I'm Kenneth Ngozi. We've been acting in and writing movies for a few years now. Mostly action films and comedies. Some of the most critically acclaimed movies in South Africa's recent years. But when we were growing up, most of the films that influenced us were made as a form of protest. So we decided to go on a journey through time to take a look at how film was used as protest in South Africa in the past and how it still can be used today. So the, oh, yeah, a whole lot of people are discovered, Lana. Yeah. Oh, lady, Kuma. We saw her I remember uh, 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 watching Mapanzula. I didn't see it here. It was banned. These images were too dangerous for people to see here. So they shot them in a back lot of a studio in Johannesburg where they made Afrikaans comedies and had to smuggle the footage out of the country as they shot it. And as our country neared liberation, Hollywood started telling our protest stories. They discovered their own challenges. There was a lot of volatility in the streets here in South Africa. And, uh, every now and then there'd be a clash of bodies in the streets. We have two major riots to film. So we don't want to stage a riot and wind up in the middle of a real one. It's a fascinating history, full of repeated states of allegiance, soft porn in the homelands, corruption and vice, and of course, censorship and protest. In Fakota Township and Meriton, police I think our identity is very fragmented. People who don't know who we are, what we are. There's an attempt to find that in some way in the film. Hey, get that left out of my way! You know, this was the first state uh, of that state of emergency. That actually is uh, one thing I, I cannot forget. 